Auxiliaries View by Pam Hogan. Pam's Auxiliaries View column also comes accompanied by a small head and shoulders photo. Pam is wearing an elegant dress. She is smiling broadly in the photo. There is no caption. The text of the Auxiliaries View reads as follows. On behalf of our National Auxiliary Officers, I express my sincere hope that your holiday season was wonderful and that the new year is thus far going well for all of our blinded veterans and their caregivers. May peace, health, and happiness bring brightness to your days. As difficult as it is to believe, it is time to begin thinking of scholarship applications for the children and spouses of blinded veterans. For the 34th year, BVAA will be offering financial support to deserving applicants who are engaged in higher education pursuits. This year, there are two $2,000 scholarships and one $1,000 scholarship available. The application and instructions for submission are available on our website, www.nbvaaux.org. All application materials are due no later than May 5, 2017. The chilly winter weather makes for an ideal time for sewing, crafting, and needlework. Please consider coming up with an extra little something to donate to the silent auction at this year's convention. Handcrafted items are the most sought after, but there is no limit to the type of donations we receive and readily accept. Remember, all of the proceeds from the silent auction go toward our scholarship program. As in prior years, the Reverend Edna Dixon, our Vice President, will be more than happy to receive your donations and bring them to the convention. Instructions for sending these items are also found on our website. We've recently learned of this year's convention in Jacksonville, Florida, and would love to see you there. Please keep August 14 to 18 open as a week to spend in a sunny, warm location. Keep a lookout for the convention registration package. The Auxiliary also reacts with extreme sadness to the passing of George Myers, one of our more well-known blinded veterans from the Arkansas Regional Group, who was a regular at the national conventions and in conversations with our Auxiliary officers and members. In addition to his BVA service locally in several capacities, he participated in local school and community events as a BVA representative, often making financial contributions out of his own pocket to such events on behalf of the national organization and regional group. He was continually expressing thanks to BVA staff members and our auxiliary officers with kind words and other tokens of generosity. George was a faithful donor to the auxiliary silent auction. Without a doubt, his genuine cheer and his beautiful leather works will both be sorely missed. His wonderful service and concern for other veterans now leaves an unfillable void. I always appreciate receiving updates from our auxiliary regional groups and active members throughout the country. Please keep me posted on your events and the many positive things you are doing to support our blinded veterans. These updates can be sent to me directly or through our bulletin editor, Stuart Nelson, snelson at bva.org.